Hi, my name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Are we headed toward mass fatalities in the United States because of our current political, economic, and civil crisis that we are in? And truly, we are in crisis. Now, if you look to Washington, D.C. or the mainstream media for an answer to that question, you're going to be very disappointed because you're going to get an altered version of reality that has been dipped in propaganda and whitewashed for our consumption. If you need evidence of this, let's look at the recent debate between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. A debate that is supposed to be talking about the condition of the economic uh, crisis that this nation is in. An hour and a half long debate on the economy that fails to mention the Federal Reserve one time, or Ben Bernanke, or quantitative easing, one, two, three, or infinity, or the quadrillion dollar derivatives nightmare that it faces this planet, or the fact that since 2001, 56 thousand manufacturing facilities, not jobs, facilities, have left the United States, or that the world is starting to reject the U.S. dollar as the uh, reserve currency, the European debt crisis was not brought up, even though the International Monetary Fund, who's hip deep in the European debt crisis to save a bunch of uh, European bankers, is primarily funded. The largest contributor is the United States of America at 16%. We are, the American taxpayer, the biggest funder of the International Monetary Fund. Nobody brought that up. Nor did they bring up the fact that the gap between the rich and the poor is no longer a gap. It's a chasm, the largest it's been since the Great Depression. TARP. TARP. A lot of people could uh, make an argument that TARP uh, is what started all this. Both of these guys, Obama, Romney, Red, Blue, supported TARP. Would they support it again? Because it's, it looks pretty obvious that we are going to face another situation where too big to fail institutions uh, need to be rescued. Nothing was said about the fact that 58% of the jobs created since the last recession have been low-paying service sector jobs, and most uh, assuredly nothing was said about the fact that over half the people in this country, the United States of America, have become basically indentured servants to the government because they receive some form of assistance from the government each and every month. See, these facts that truly uh, you know, spell why the economy is in the condition it is, or calls out the institutions or people who have brought the economy to the place that it is, these were not talked about at all. You got a, a altered version of reality that was dipped in propaganda. You need another example? How about the miraculous jobs report that came out this week? And, and truly, it is miraculous when you consider a nation of 310 million people needs 150,000 jobs to be created each and every month just to maintain, just to maintain the unemployment rate. Yet we went from 8.1% to 7.8%, the largest drop in years. How did we do this? Did we create a million jobs, half a million jobs? No, we created 114,000 jobs, allegedly. 114,000 that does not even keep up with the population growth dropped the unemployment rate the most in years. How did they do it? Well, it's pretty simple. You massage the numbers, you take reality, you dip it in propaganda, you whitewash it, and you sell it to the people as fact. But here's a fact. The number of people that are wanting to work, that are able to work, has swollen to 2.5 million, but these are the want, want and able to work individuals who can't find a job and have stopped looking after a month, so they are no longer considered unemployed. This is one way you change that report. Or the fact that 600,000 people last month who were working full-time were forced to go into part-time because of the condition of the economy. This is a better indicator of where we're headed. 114,000 jobs created. We have the largest drop in years. It's impossible when you do the math. But if we do look at these 114,000 jobs, are any of them good, high-paying, uh, middle-class uh, jobs? The fact is 53% of these jobs were either in healthcare or they were bartenders and waitresses. And truly, the manufacturing base that uh, helped build the middle class, 16,000 of these jobs went away last month. So this is another uh, example of how reality is taken and uh, put into a, a, a pill that we are supposed to swallow. But this pill is not uh, reality. This pill is going to kill us if we keep believing the, the nonsense coming out of Washington, D.C. and the mainstream media. Here's the reality of where we're at. California right now is facing $5 a gallon gasoline in a nation and a state that has seen its income fall, that's seen the household income fall, seen the price of uh, what they need to put in their mouth, the, the basic necessity commodities such as food, uh, skyrocket. Now they're seeing fuel skyrocket, as the rest of us will 
across this nation. This is reality. This is the true reality we face. Or the fact in Detroit, the police are handing out flyers warning people, come here at your own risk because violence is out of control. We have a nation of 47 million people that are on food stamps. We have millions of people who've lost their homes, millions upon millions of people who are not even counted in the participation rate anymore. And yet, we're fed a bunch of garbage and baloney about red and blue ideology. But if you want to know the truth about where we're really headed, don't listen to what Washington, D.C. is doing. Look at what they're doing. H.R. 6566, a recent piece of legislation in late September, uh, was brought to the floor for consideration. This legislation amends the 2002 Homeland Security Act that gave us the Department of Homeland Security, forcing FEMA to give guidance on what we're going to do with mass fatalities inside the United States. You see, they're not going to talk about this on Fox News, CNN, or any of the other mainstream uh, media outlets. They're not going to talk about this, but the actions are speaking louder than words. We are headed for real crisis in this country. The powers that be absolutely understand that we are heading for crisis. This is the reason why we have millions upon millions, if not billions of rounds of ammunition being bought from everybody from uh, Social Security Administration uh, to NOAA. And we have Congress uh, looking to expand legislation. The Department of Homeland Security, the, a the HLS legislation that brought us the Department of Homeland Security, that encompasses everything inside the security industrial complex. You're telling me in 2002... There wasn't enough legislation between then and now to deal with any crisis that could possibly happen in the face of this planet. So now we have to add legislation to it that is going to deal with mass fatalities, not in Iraq, not in Iran, not in uh, anywhere else on this planet, but right here in the United States of America. This is the reality that is incumbent upon ourselves to be informed, that we can inform our friends and our families. Stories are attached. That's all I got.